Welcome back everyone to the Minecraft City Construction Challenge. It has been forever um, since we last played this. I think I hopped on once or twice just to like show some friends my build. Um, completely forgot to turn on this texture pack. So, in fact, so that's why I was in creative mode before and I had switch back, but we'll just go here. In case, in case any of you have forgotten what our beautiful town looked like. Oh man, isn't it wonderful? We have pigs growing, we have all of our crops that need to be harvested because we haven't touched them in a year. Our beautiful buildings. Oh, it looks really good. with our little watchtowers, that tree. Hmm. Anyways, and then over to the mining district where we were building up our trading post. I think I said I wanted to come back in, on my own time and fix it, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, we're, we're, what were we doing? I don't, like, it's been a year since we played this. Do I even have a way to access upstairs? How do I access the roof? How do I get up there? Oh, that's right. It was a back entrance. Um, and the whole point was, yeah, this would allow you to lower, lower components onto the... Yeah, I remember. So we need to figure out the roof and I want to add like probably stone brick around the edges that make it look a little better right let's at least make like the foundation of the main building so like let's outline the main building and leave these two outcroppings alone for now but let's run back and get some, start creating some, uh, what do you call it, stone brick blocks. Also, we need music. I'm not turning on the old playlist because that's annoying. <laughs> don't know how I, uh, I don't know how I listen to that stuff for hours and hours. If I ever make money from streaming, I will definitely invest in like Monster Cat or something and get some music. But until then, I'm not going to. Okay, uh, cobblestone. So I have some stone bricks already. Where's my coal? There we go. Gunpowder. Where did I put gunpowder? Was it a miscellaneous? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it's up there. Okay. Oh, this is a smoker. <laughs> I was like, why is this not working? Okay. I need to get a rail cart. Am I allowed to have iron? Hold up. I have to grab my little cheat sheet. What am I doing? So. I need a well, a mine shaft, five houses, three community structures, three watchtowers, and two manufacturing buildings. So my three community built. <laughs> okay, before I keep going, this. Oh, sorry. This sticky note I've had forever, and I don't know why I still have it, but I'm really grateful I do, because I don't remember what any bathhouse. I would not remember that. Um. Anyways, 
yeah so yeah, uh, I'm gonna build a bathing house a tavern and a trading post and then my manufacturing buildings are going to be a blacksmith and a masonry Why is the music not kicking in? <laughs> Minecraft, please. I need, I want music. La 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 la. Alright, whatever. We'll keep living with it. Um, actually. How's this going to look from the outside? Oh, that's going to look fine, actually. We'll just have to break those. Actually, no. We'll, we'll tear down the whole wall. We'll do this. There you go. That looks fine. I don't know how to get the torch out of my left hand, but we're, we'll deal with it. That already looks a bazillion times better. And we'll... yeah. uh, this lack of music is going to kill me. It really is. Alright, we'll need to go grab some more stone and probably restock. I am very glad, though, that I don't have to go resource grinding. <laughs> that I have left myself in a place where, resource-wise, I'm okay. Otherwise, it'd just be so boring. <laughs> it's like, hey, we're back. Let's spend an hour grinding out resources for us to eventually do what we're wanting to do. I might have to do that in my spare time. blocks it's enough and it'll be nighttime by the time we get back anyways okay so we can always restock then I didn't know I had arrows oh I have I have arrows how do I have arrows is it from the chickens I must have slaughtered a bunch of chickens, huh? Alright, my goal is to get this trading post center up and fully functional uh, by the end of this part. Hopefully we can get more done. And then, as I've said before, once I'm able to do more streams, like devote more time to my streaming, um... Minecraft, this Minecraft series is going to be taking priority number one. There's the music. Oh, that's right, I couldn't do the window thing. Because I required 4 by 4 Oh no, I could do the window thing here. Hold up. Minecraft will be taking priority number one in my extra time allotted to streaming. She says Destiny is kind of taking that first hour. Um, I would. Strange. Okay. 
I would devote probably two or so more hours to Minecraft. Because I... Like I've said, I really want to get this challenge done. This is really fun. I enjoy doing this. I think my creative juices just went out because I was grinding it so much. But if I can reduce it to only like... Reduce it to maybe two or three hours a week. Eh, probably two. One or two hours a week. I should be fine. I'd actually get pretty excited when that time comes around. It's like, alright, let's get this done. I haven't done this all week. That's a skeleton. Woo! <laughs> Woo, the roads aren't safe yet, people. We're still in the beginning times. I think I need to check though. Okay. One thing I noticed was my Minecraft videos were my largest files. Like larger than like Destiny 2, and larger than Doom Eternal, anything like that. Like each one of these videos was like 12 gigabytes long for an hour session. Ow, why did you hit me? There you go. Whereas most videos, like at most for an hour, would probably be one or two gigs, right? Because it's a lot of graphics, but. Yeah, 12 gigabytes for a Minecraft video. It was because of the frame rate. Did you see it? Oh, is that just my monitor? It could just be my monitor. Oh, I left the door open. Oops. Uh, one thing I should do at some point is the new Nether update, which I have still have not looked at at all. I really need to. Uh, have I looped around the top? No, I haven't done that. I think we're okay by not doing that. Actually, maybe on this side. I don't like that. Oh, that that did something that I didn't think it would do. It's just looking really choppy on my screen. Like for the recording, it's not doing anything, but. For this roof, we should probably only go about this high, right? Leave it at that. And I don't think slabs are that big of a problem.
Um, yeah. Where's the music? Come on. Minecraft. Music, please. It's really awkward when it's not on. So we're going to keep it really simple on the roof here. Uh, mainly because we would want to... Oh, so I just don't want to waste too much time on the roof aspect. Because it just looked like a giant stone pillar if we don't. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to have to add some stone brick designs. Kind of throughout it just to make it more appealing to the eye, but... We had it come in one like that. And probably just have it be brrr, just a stone block around the edges. good I have such high aspirations and hopes for this <laughs> be a shame for it to all get wasted Let's see, I have my cobblestone. As for stone blocks... No, that's all half slabs. Gotta keep that. Maybe just around the base we could do stone brick. My fear of using smooth stone is that it's, if I mess up a block placement, that block's gone. I have to recook it. That's a lot of wasted resources. Resources I don't necessarily want to use. my cobblestone there we go uh i should probably put my wood away right I love this texture pack. Uh, I don't have my shader on though, which is kind of ruining the illusion of this, but I think what happened was it lagged out my game. Was that right? <laughs> but we can make do with the texture pack for now. I can think of shaders and stuff later, you know, a year from now when we 
do this again. So I don't want one on the bottom or on the top. Probably top, yeah. We'll do top. Oh no. So we come in one with a flat base. Right? Yeah, okay. I was slightly confused, but this is just the stone slabs. And then we fill that in. All right, let's head off to bed before we get blown up by a creeper and lose a lot of valuable progress. Uh, one thing I should do at some point is a hardcore mode. I know a lot, it's like, you're not a gaming streamer if you haven't done a Minecraft hardcore, hardcore um, playlist. So confused there. There was just an egg on my road. What? Um, so I'll definitely need to get that done at some point in my life. Probably long after I finish this series, which would probably be years from now. I just want everyone to know that this series is not dead. That we are continuing on. And we will finish this. Almost done with stage, was it three? No, we're not even close to being done with stage three. We're only just starting on this mining district. I'd be lying if I said this wasn't exciting though. Um, it's actually... Huh. There we go. Well, that sucks. <laughs> what is... Uh, I jump back up again. I think I said I wanted the top to be stone brick, but I don't think it was this part. It was the one right under it, right? Yeah. So I wanted it to go kind of like this. I have it like pillar up this back door area. like so oh, I can just do this inside nice I wasn't sure if it was lined up or not And then that should be done. We'd have to furnish this later. But I think I'll worry about that when we're touching up the place. Let's just get most of our buildings set up. 
How long has it been? It's only been like half an hour. We might be able to start off a new new building after this one. And what I should do uh, once we're done here is I'll probably come back and just write signs on everything, like plots of land I where I want to build things, just so I don't forget. I think I remember where I want to build, like the tavern and the masonry and whatnot, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. not spaced out at all um three four so we want four spaces no i have it at three so let's try three for now so that gives us one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's a it's a perfect number um, so I'd have to divide this into fourths. Oh, not quite. That's annoying. That's... Here, we could probably just do that. Is that too much? Two, three, four. Two, three. Oh, wait. Sure. Okay. Actually, that act, that turns out fine because it matches up with the doorway. Cool, cool. Hopefully nothing... Uh, mobs don't spawn down there. Uh, I put away all my doors. Does it look okay? One thing I should probably do is put stone bricks on these pillars, right? Does that look better? Stone bricks, so I got, uh, we're fine. I think it was this one. No, it was that one. Minecraft music, please, please turn on. This is terrible. should have put on the crappy playlist at least it's something to listen to right <laughs> oh so to think about things that should go in the mining district right so we'll have lots of like lava and forges um 
I'm trying to think if we need like a mage's tower. Should that be part of the mining district or should that be like, is that part of a different district? Cause I want that um, where my enchanting table is, like all my potion making stuff, right? So it joins along the other pillars. It looks pretty good. I can't put a glass pane in there. Sadly. This will be our trading post, and then I can always add like flags and outdoor decorations, like more detail. But that's pretty much the gist of the trade trading post out of the mining district. Where in essence, all of the cargo coming to and from the mining district is passed through here, kind of like a controlled tax type thing. That's crap, okay. Because there's a lot of valuable goods here. This is where all of our diamonds and gems and gold are produced. We want to make sure we have a clean customs, right? I think these two are going to be our other two houses, and then right here is going to be our tavern. Because we'll also need a bathing house, but the bathing house I feel like should be probably on top of this hill, you would think, right? You just shave it down a hair. Have like paths so you can like come to the bathing house on your way down to the areas. I think I wanted the well down there? I can't remember. I'll have to go back through the old videos and figure it out. This one had oh yeah, just a basement. Oh, it's nighttime, no. We'll have to figure out what we want to build the tavern out of. I like the cobblestone um, theme of the mining districts. Like everything's made out of stone. Probably not bricks because clay isn't really abundant in the mountains. Oh, I could have slept in the mining district. What am I doing running? Oh, we need to get resources anyways. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. Man, I haven't drank any water. Oh. Okay. Should we go dark wood? Because I know our inn over here is mainly dark wood with light stone. With like a very base cobblestone foundation. But it's mainly like dark oak logs. Which looks really cool. And it gives it that look. Cabin feeling. So, probably don't want to do full logs. So what should we make it out of? Um, I want wood variety in there. Birch wood is too light. Birch wood, I'll probably be using more birch wood as we get closer into the city. 
like I can imagine a lot of our shops and inner homes being made out of more birch kind of representative like modern housing out there more white nowadays versus the old darker feeling I'd have to go spruce do I want logs or planks though I'll just take some of each Okay. Let's try this for now, and let's play around with some ideas. Because taverns. Well, it's actually Google's our friend. Um, let's just look at Im images of taverns. Type in old taverns outside. So saloons were mainly made out of wood, it looks like. That was a saloon, though. Taverns were actually white. We could make it out of birch. birch and stone um yeah everything i'm seeing is white why is everything white is that just what they painted everything maybe it wasn't white before i might actually do that i know i was talking about how i won't use birch but we might use birch it'll give it that outstanding look meaning kind of you know draw customers in or whatever um, let's take that then I'm excited to get the railway system open um, the fact that I have an iron sword means I should be able to use iron right yeah yeah i can use iron because of the well i had to use a bucket for the well i took the instructions off of my the requirements off of my twitch i always look them up on youtube i think my videos have them in the description so what we will do is use cobblestone base so this tavern will only be one story. It's not like an inn. It's just going to be a place for drinking. Nothing too fancy or too big. So we'll probably want it... come out to there kind of this little funky offshoot I can use this as a you know a little area we'll have a basement for sure because you need a basement for a, for all the booze so you have main cabin area and like I can cut off this little area for the innkeeper or the tavern person How out of place does this look? Hmm. I don't think it looks that out of place, to be honest. Oh, my math is so good. My math is so good. Do I want to use birch logs or should we just like keep it to this flat style?
Uh, the reason I haven't put it in a floor yet is because I'm thinking about doing a uh, spruce, like a dark, or probably oak. Let's go an oak wood floor. Because it'd be kind of dumb to have a white floor. You know, just spill your booze and it's... It leaves a nasty stain. Ah, I hate that. I keep getting notifications for the... Um, so, I'm in college, right? You all know this. And there's a bunch of these, like... Feta sororities or fraternities or whatever they are. I know nothing about them. Uh, but one called Phi Theta Kappa. Something like that. Actually, something like that. It's a bunch of Greek letters. Alpha, Gamma, Phi, Theta. Um, they keep emailing me saying, like, join our club, pay us 100 bucks, and you'll be access to our special club. You should do it. it it's worth it. It's just like, shut up. I don't want to give you money. Because you, you give me nothing. It's just, it's dumb. So let's get the at least like the outside frame of this tavern up and running, um, just so we can have another building in the mining district, right? And then again in my off time, I'll just kind of label out the land, get it all organized. Ah, playing this again makes me really want to play this. Um, I know I promised to do more Doom Eternal. And I would come back to that. But playing Minecraft again is just... It's nice. <laughs> oh, I grabbed dark. Oh, I was going to grab oak. It's okay. This, this will be fine. I've already placed too many. Oh, well. Rip. That's a start. Since it's only one story, I'll probably only make it four or five tall. Because as a tavern, you want a high roof. Or a high ceiling. Probably looks really bland. Yeah. Hmm. How do we spice this up? Do we keep it like a stone base, but then a log top? Kind of like this, except replace that with stone. Would, would birch logs look good, though? It's kind of the real question here. Hmm. I could do spruce logs. That way it feels like it has some sort of consistency to it. But having that white outside frame really draws attention to that tavern. Also, should the tavern be so close to the homes? I feel like it'd get really loud at night and people would be like, shut up! <laughs> hmm. I don't know where else I would put it, though. No, it's okay. It's okay there. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the spruce. I like the darker look on the edges. Um... There's no bed in this. I think it's the one house I don't have a bed in. Nope. I think there's only one house that. Alright. This is the only house that has a bed in it. Oh. 
How much time do I have left? It's going for about 15 more minutes. Okay. So what we're gonna do is transform as much as that, as much of that into planks as we can. Go clear out our inventory. Pickaxe are okay. Then grab some spruce logs. Also, we need more spruce planks. Now I'm starting to think ahead, because um, like I said, I'm not putting too much detail into these buildings. Let's just try to get as much as a foundation down as we can, and then I can detail them up later. I'm out of space. We can put away. Oh gosh, it's charcoal. I don't have a spruce fence. Just get one of each of those. Oh, smooth I have a lot of smooth stone what am I doing <sighs> okay bones those are all my saplings flowers <laughs> my, my potatoes just wheat and stuff, animal products. So. Lots of chicken, lots of eggs. I hate the no music. This is so boring and mundane. Definitely need to invest in music. Problem with music is it can get so touchy. Like, I don't know any musicians. Well, I know... I have a friend who's making music, but I think most of his songs are raps. And I don't feel like running rap songs in the background the whole time I'm playing a game. <laughs> Much as I love the kid, he's just, yeah, I don't, don't want to listen to his rap. Not, not in a content creation standpoint. I'll have to figure out what, how he's doing with that and maybe, you know, give him a shout out or whatever, but. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that looks better. And then let's just keep it like this. Yeah. Now I probably should have dug out the basement first before placing all this floor in. Probably would have been smarter. Hmm, that's okay. Why would you do that? Uh, I don't have to worry about that corner because it's not going to be visible from outside and inside. You just don't need to worry. Um, how tall is this? One, two, three. So if I put the ceiling there, it's going to be just a normal height. Let's 
go two more higher. Like that. I uh, just realized I need to probably do it over on here. So it's six tall. I'll definitely have to put a lot of decorations around the edges. Like fun windows and whatnot. Or it's just gonna look so bland. Okay, no, it's like midday, late afternoon. Uh, there are some fun things happening, things to talk about for you guys. Oh, there's the music. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, so I'm a huge Lego fanatic. Oh, no, Birchwood. Crap. So close. Um, especially Lego Star Wars. And apparently, this year, they're making a Ultimate Collector's Edition of the Star Wars gunship, the Clone Wars gunship, the LAAT, which there's only ever been one? No. Maybe two. They made two sets with that gunship. And the last one was back in, like, 2008. It was forever ago. Um, I think it was right at the release. No, it was probably 2013. Either way, it's been almost 10 years. At least eight years since the last time they released a gunship. And, you know, they re-release a lot of, like, older things. But certain sets like that, they've only released one or two copies of... But they're finally making it, which is exciting. I've been wanting one forever. Um, of course, at the time, I was too young. I couldn't buy that stuff. And my parents were like, we're not spending 60 bucks on the Lego set. Are you kidding me? So when the set comes out, which is going to be a couple hundred bucks, I think I'll, I'll be splurging the money. For sure. Um, so for the outside edge, what I want to do... I probably want to do spruce, right? So let's just grab a stack or two. Yeah. We'll probably have enough time to get that framework done and then we should be finished. Oh. It's just, it takes so long to make these. One idea I had was to run on a... Well, I would have to play on a different computer. Because my recording equipment's on this computer. But to record, like, the time-lapse thing you used to see in the... Like, large Minecraft builds. Where everything's sped up by, like, 500%. And it's just... You think, see things just created in front of you. Um, I was hoping to do something like that. I just don't know how specifically to do that if that makes sense I can always look it up I'm sure it's super easy but But I'm thinking about doing that for some of these episodes of my Minecraft challenge. Just because it, it's so long. <laughs> it takes forever to build these things. And it, I'm sure it's not the most exciting thing.
and that way I can give like good commentary over like my thoughts on certain designs and patterns for these buildings instead of doing it on the spot and then second guessing myself. All right, I should, I should head to bed. All right. All right, this will be it. Final day. I popped my knuckles right in the microphone. I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> probably like, what the crap was that? Why would you do that to us? Oh man, look at this building. It's magnificent. Hmm. Yep. All right. Let's turn this down. I think I'll call it a day there. I don't know why I went to bed. I don't know why I just didn't finish it. Um, but I definitely have things in mind, uh, plans ahead. I will be looking into those time lapse. Um, and then on stream, like I can just chat with you guys while I do this. But for YouTube, I can cut it together, make it a little more exciting. I can release like two versions. One's like the uncut me just doing this real time. It's like four hours long. Then release the edited down version. It's 10 minutes. <laughs> but there we go. That's the tavern. It looks very bright and just majestic and kind of hides all the houses there. Hmm. It'll definitely have to. Sh Lots of details. I'll have to add a lot of creativity and flair to it outpost uh, out, outpost <laughs> um outpost looks really good i enjoy it. i'll still add some flair i'm thinking like maybe a lip around the bottom here um some more things kind of jutting out more torches probably carved in designs but all in all it was fun to come back to it. Fun to finally finish up some of these things. It's a great gateway looking thing. I'll probably fill in this hole. Kind of extend out this mountain, right? So it really encapsulates this area. Kind of like what I did there. So natural indents. I'll probably shave that down for the bathhouse and put it up on the hill. Shave down that corner a little bit. Just open it up. Have the blacksmith, the masonry. All will be so good. Um, set up watchtowers, of course. But I think that's it. Um, for this part of the construction challenge. I promise that the next part won't be a year from now. I will return to this some point between now and next April. <laughs> Even if it's just for one part. But I do promise to come back to it. Uh, I do enjoy this. It's just long campaigns of it. it makes my imagination die. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming back. Um, I'll do the full full stream outro in the video. YouTube, you get the full thing. Thank you so much for watching this. My little one year anniversary birthday stream. Um, it's still crazy for me to think that I'm doing this. That I have now received the tools and the resources necessary to do this. I've been... It's always been a thing... A small dream of mine to do this ever since I was 14, 15. But I always toss it aside because I'm like, oh, I'm not funny enough. I'm not skilled enough. It's going to take too much work to set up. Um, and just, you know, let's be real with ourselves here. I should probably go get a career, get a job. I'm going to software engineering to actually have a career, able to provide for myself. Um, but Honestly, if anything good came out of COVID was me getting my butt together, building a computer, because I always wanted to, and then realizing I now have the tools to do this, and I have all the time because I'm not working at the moment, so why not start? 
and I started, and I've been able to keep up with it. I hope I can keep up with it even more, that there's many years to come. Um, and again, thank you guys so much. You're the reason why it motivates me to do, make better content, um, to come back week after week, to release the videos on time, to just to see a view on a video is the biggest joy. And for the last couple months, actually, if I'm looking at my graphs and charts, it's for the last year, it's trended up. I've st I started off like maybe three views total a week. And then starting in about October, I've been averaging five or six doubled. And then just this year, other than, you know, my Beyond Two Souls videos, which really killed my views. I was averaging 10, 10, 20 views a week. Like it, my channel has been growing and that's only thanks to you guys. I, I don't watch my own content to boost my numbers. I don't do that. Every view you see on the channel, except, you know, maybe one or two when I'm showing someone else a video or looking at a video. But like 99% of all the views you see on a video are from you guys. And that's huge. It makes me so happy to wake up every morning and look at the numbers, seeing like how well did my channel do yesterday? How, like what can I do better? What series are doing good? What things should I keep up doing? What are things people are enjoying? And just seeing good numbers and fun interactions with the comments and just seeing likes and even dislikes, which helped me understand my flaws and problems. That's especially true with my Planet Side videos, but. Anyways, this was a long outro, but it was it's for you guys. A year, a year in. Let's hope to many more. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I will be back on Tuesday. And for those of you watching this Minecraft video standalone on YouTube, I will be back. Just keep an eye on my channel. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Um, but most importantly, thank you for watching my content. And I will see all of you next time.